Hi everyone, I'm Beth from Double Shot Gaming and welcome to an episode of Sally Face. This is another new series that I'm bringing to that I've had it for a while. I guess it's a mix of like Frambo style, which Frambo I will be finishing this week as well. So we're going to jump right into it. It was just like the last time. Only this time it started in a hospital. Whoa. Okay. We're gonna answer the phone. Hello? It's okay, Sal. Everything is going to be okay now. Come and see. Uh, who is this? Sal, come and find me. Weird, sounded like my dad. Okay, what happened to her face? Blood, this is... Looks like something's there, but it's too dark to see. So... Mm. Okay, all right, well... Is there lights? Oh no, um, we got... Oh. So then turn on the light. Turn on the light. Oh, well, there's a light switch. That dog, dog paint, did that just change, yeah? Yeah, you did? Okay. Oh, there's a key. A key, what? We've got a key, stuff. I like that stuff. Goal? Who knows? All right. The door. Mm. Okay. Well, D. What? D, C, B, A. Let's open A first. Oh, we're back. Okay. What? D? Oh, D was good. D, P, O, N, M, three. Three. I feel like I need to write this down. I mean, I do have a notepad next to me just in case we get some games like this. Uh, so we just went into the D door and um, there's uh, three written on there. So uh, as for three, uh, we're gonna go with O. Yeah, um, okay, so we opened up O, and what do we have? Oh, we have no. No, oh, uh, well, maybe it means three again, G. Oh, well, we got outside, um, so G took us outside, and, yeah, maybe it wasn't that complicated. Hi, hi, hey, hi, everyone. Uh, looks like we're at a funeral of grass. Okay. And we got a dog. Speak. Who's a good doggy? Oh, who's a good boy? I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. Huh? Go see for yourself. Huh? Okay. Wait. Oh, wait, wait. We have a six in the tree. Okay, we got, we got three. We got six. We gotta look at all around, I guess. Oh, Diane Fisher, beloved wife and mother, climb down. Okay. This is real spooky. Um, battery's not included, it's locked. Oh, it's locked because we have, okay, well, three, we have three. We didn't look at that first war, uh... Wait, what? That worked? Three, six, okay. All right. What? Talk, hi. Oh, dad? You are not my son. My son is not a murderer. Oh my gosh, what is this? This is your fault. Okay. 
I'm sorry. What is this? Mom? Are you? Uh. Oh, and that's when I woke up. Hmm, yes, an interesting dream. I think we should come back to that dream later, but for now, can you tell me more about your... about the body? Which one? The second one. The one from the apartment. Sure. Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about that place right away. Episode 1! Strange neighbors. Yeah, it's strange, all right. This will be our new beginning. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? Sure thing, Dad. Sure thing. Well, Dad's room? Cool. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Bye, Dad. I want to talk to you. Got to make some friends. I see you've made yourself a home already, Gizmo. Must be nice. Yeah, hey, Gizmo Cat. Okay, we're going to leave. We're going to go explore the building. So we've got 402. No one's home. Cool. Uh, I guess, yeah, let's go in the elevator. Unless so there's... Oh. Oh, 403 is a, a crime scene. Hey. Hello. Nothing. Uh, what happened in that room? Police business, kid. Why don't you run along back to your parents? I wish I could. What was that, wise ass? Oh, nothing. That's what I thought. Stupid weirdo kid. Who are you? I'm your fair- Whoa! What does it look like? I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. Why are you standing there? I'm protecting nosy little freaks like you from seeing what they ought not to see. Now scram. I don't get paid to babysit. Okay. That guy has some issues. He's not my friend. Um, let's go up to floor five. This floor is currently being renovated. For your safety, please make your way to the nearest exit. I don't wanna. Locked. Locked. Doesn't have a number on it. Okay. Uh, what about this, this side? Yeah? Locked. Hello? Sorry I didn't think anyone lived up here. Hello? Sir? Are you okay? You shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry. I was just trying to get to know my new neighbors and... A dark place. This is building. Horrible things happen. Are you sure you were okay? What the? Yeah, what the? Okay. Well. Well. That's weird. The bathroom is locked. Yeah. That's weird, alright. I'm a little scared now. So. Okay. Bye. The bathroom's locked, so are there like... Yeah, we're just gonna... Yeah, we're gonna... Yeah. I'm gonna leave. Go down to the third floor. We got 302. No one's home. We got some lady mopping. Hey. Oh my. Sorry you just started me a little. You must be one of the new guys from 402, yeah? With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. 
pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place, keep things up and running. So if you ever need anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. You're quite welcome. Cool, can't go that way. Cool, can't go that way. Can I? Can I? Can I? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey, kid. Well, while we're cleaning that, we're going to go down to the second floor. And let's see. 202? No one's home. 201? Hmm. I guess no one's home. You guess. Okay, well, um, they're, uh, I guess they're just not invading the place. Okay, no one's home. Yep. Charlie. Yeah, who's there? Hello, I'm new in the building. I just wanted to introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay, come in. Whoa. Those are some weird little dolls. Um, hi, my name is Sal. I just moved in with my dad. What the hell is with your face, child? Oh, I know. Young teens, a new generation of self-expression. I was young myself. I get it. Just so long as you're not in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang, are you? No, no. It's nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with the stuff and we'll be okay. I'm a collector. You see, I collect many things. These things are like my family, so if you mess with my collections, you're messing with my family. Got it? Yes, sir. No problem. Or not a problem. I won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. Okay, well, uh... So, yep, I know you're speechless because you've never seen such an awesome collection. Yeah. Don't worry, anytime I'm home, you can stop by and take it all in again. Nice place you got. It's my own chunk of heaven. Just me and my stuff. Do you live here alone? Alone? Look around you. I have all the company I could ever need. Well, it is nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. Yeah, like a real person. Be right back. Okay, look. Bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment it is to have this full set. You can look all you want, but don't even think about touching them. What's a glitter pony? My god, child, have you never seen My Glitter Pony? It's a rainbow spectacular. It's only the greatest television show ever produced. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could ever want. And the ponies. Oh, the ponies. Don't even get me started. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess... Um, I guess I missed that one. I'll have to look for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me, you won't regret it. Okay, we're just gonna leave. All right, seems seems good enough. Good, good guy. Good guy. Yeah, let's go to the first floor. Let's let's see. Okay. Uh, one hundred two. No one's home. One oh one. Mrs. Gibson. Yeah, what do you want? A little early for trick or treating, isn't it? Er. Stupid good-for-nothing kids. <laughs> Knock. Hi. You again? Why do you kids insist on making my life miserable? Just leave me alone. Mm. When will this torture end? <laughs> Excuse me? Addison. Oh, it's here. What a frightful... Uh, Pardon me. Let's start over. Hello, young sir. New resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? How do you know who I am? I know all that takes place within these walls, sir. You'll do good to remember that. So, Sally... Sal is a boy, and I had thought it was a girl. Because Sally... Can I come in? Heavens, no. I'm afraid that I'm quite prepped. Uh, particular about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Mm, sure. Bye. Farewell, friend. Yeah, friend. Don't even let me in. No one's home. Okay, bye. Well. 
Uh, should we try the third floor again? Maybe we can go further now. That there's nope. Still mopping that same spot, and wouldn't want to cause anything else like that to happen. Nope. We're going to the fifth one. Yeah. I feel like something big's happening. Well, we're in 402, so yeah. Okay. Let's go. Let's go talk to my dad. Hey, kiddo. Uh, what do you think about this place? Mm, uh, it may not be as nice as our old house, but we'll make the best of things. As long as we have each other, I think we can make a real home here. Uh, I miss Jersey. I know you do, bud, but please try to give it a chance. School will start up in a couple weeks, and then you'll be able to make all new friends. Yeah, I guess so. I know so. Anyone would be lucky to have you as a friend, Sal. Thanks, Dad. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, I miss Mom. Yeah. Me too, buddy. Me too. Okay, see ya. Try not to get in too much trouble. Okay. Yeah, I'll try not to. Mm -hmm. Well. I mean... I was wondering where that was. Cool, so... Um... But... Uh, stuff. My gear boy looks like it needs batteries, though. Hmm. Well, we gotta explore the building, but, um, we're exploring the building. Okay, well, I guess, oh, wait. What am I doing? Leave. Gotta go down here. I guess we can go down to the first floor. Let's see if there's anything, like, a way to leave. Can we go any further? Oh, there. There's a guy. What's going on? Hello, young man. You just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out. That's good. Try not to get in our way for now. We're investigating a serious crime. Was it a murder? I can't talk about that. Bye. So long. Okay. Well... Um, I can tell you right now, up on the fifth floor, there was a ghost. That is for sure. Let's see if we, yeah, we can't. Nope. Um, let's talk to her again. Hi, Lisa. Hey, Sal, what's up? Mm, how long have you been working here? Actually, I don't just work here. I live here, too. I'm on call 24-7, so any urgent maintenance needs. Despite what you may hear from others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it my home. Going on 10 years now. It seems like a nice place. You betcha. Uh, what do others say about the building? Oh, all kinds of stuff. I'm sure this building is well over 100 years old, you know. People are always complaining about one thing or another, but you'll hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I fix it. Yeah, most people do seem to complain a lot about small things. Can't sweat the small stuff, Sal. It's just no way to live, you know? You're right. Take it from me. You focus on the good stuff. Focus on what makes you happy in this life. Put your energy into it. Wow. Let's change the subject. So do you know anything about what happened in 403? It's just a shame in you and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Mrs. Sanderson. Who's Mrs. Sanderson? Oh, never mind that. Best not to set your mind on such dreadful things. Is there anything fun around? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. Great. His name is Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. You'll need a key card to access the elevator, though. Here, take this one. I've got a few extras. Cool, thanks. Is this building haunted? Sal, sweetie, I've been taking care of Addison Apartments for a long time, and I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. Well, I was here for a day for about 10 minutes, and I already found one, yo. That's just people over... No, oh, that's just people's overactive imaginations. Too much sweets and scary movies, if you ask me. Bye, see ya. See ya around. No one's home. I don't want to go there anyways. Okay. Let's go down to the basement. Yeah. 
so well got the vending machine lots of tasty junk food I'm not really hungry though it's not a very problem with me oh oh yep pizza okay uh bathroom whoa we don't even have a bathroom in our place apparently Uh, what the hell was that? Yeah. For a place not being haunted, there's sure some spooky stuff going on. And I bet this is Larry's room. Uh, yeah? Hey, uh, Larry, your mom said I should come and say hi. I just moved into 402. Oh, hey, come on in. Door's open. Yeah, hey, oh, cool. He's got a lot of cool stuff. Whoa, nice mask. Uh, it's prosthetic. Oh, shit. Sorry, man. It's cool. I'm used to much worse by now. So, I'm glad you like it. So, do you, like, have no face under there? What happened? Mm, I'd rather not talk about that. Okay, change of subject. I'm Larry. I live down here with my mom. We've got a lot of cool things. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally Face? I guess I didn't really have any decent friends, to be honest. So, once they started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name, then the assholes couldn't use it against me. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? You're pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. Huh. Uh, that's what your mom said, too. Mother knows best. Uh, why do you live in the basement? My mom always says that it's because we gotta guard the place from rats, but I'm pretty sure she gets the room rent free with the maintenance gig. That's cool, though. I don't mind. I get to listen to music as loud as I want when she's not around. Nice. Yeah, it's like my own little bat cave. I like your shirt. Thanks. It stands for Sally Face. <laughs> I do not have my own clothing line, so... Ha, it's actually for this metal band called Sanity's Fall. Do you like metal? I don't know. Oh, that's got to change. Check out this song. It's their first single. The full album comes out in a few months. So there's that. That sounds great. Um, definitely, definitely not a metal fan in real life. Like at all. Oh, we're just, yeah, we're gonna head bang right along with them. Yeah, okay. Yeah, this seems like a fun hangout. Uh-huh. Yep. Okay. Okay, uh, let's talk. Uh, so what happened in 4 Girl 3? Shh, not so loud, man. What? What is it? The killer is still in the building. How do you know that? I saw it happen. Are you high right now? I wish I was, man. This is some scary shit. What happened? Okay, so I was helping Mrs. Sanderson with the clogged toilet. I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in, yelling like a lunatic. I know what you've done. Herman told me everything, you stupid bitch. Well, we're, we're getting... We're, we're, yeah. She tried to calm him down before she could even get a few words out. He was cutting her throat wide open. I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man. Just peeking through the crack in the bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast. When he cleaned up quickly and left, I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet. Not even my mom, but I trust you. Right, because you just met me. You know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie. Big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints or anything. Uh, shouldn't you tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to the detective, but he won't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Like, my word isn't enough. Um, what's up with the guy in 103? That's Mr. Addison. He owns the place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. He always talks to his little mouse slot. He's a nice too, just really strange. Oh yeah, if you say Addison tea, please, and thank you to, to him, he'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate the stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. Okay, bye. Um, 
What is this thing? That's uh, it's a police scanner. I can listen to it on local cop chatter. How the hell did this? Did you get this thing? That's a story for another day. But hey, you just gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak in a 403. Maybe we can find some kind of evidence to show the detective something they weren't looking for. Pretty quick to sign me up for the break-in. Well, I gotta make the call down here and I'm just messing with you. I'm totally up for this. Been wanting to peek in that room anyways. Sweet. So what's the plan? I'll call in a bank robbery hostage situation and that should clear out the cops for sure. I'm guessing that'll buy us a few minutes until they figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that so we can make those minutes count. We can use my walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Then I can give you a heads up too once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery with armed robbery at like a gas station or drugstore. Make it a little more believable. Hmm. Yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this. Head to your room and let me know when you're ready. Just press that shift button there to call me. Okay. So, guys. I'm going to leave this episode here. In the next one, we're going to find out what happened with Mrs. Sanderson, maybe. We're going to try and find some evidence. But if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up down below. Comment, subscribe with that. I will see you in my next video. Bye.